market's ticking. The day for the election is drawing closer. The electorate are fully prepared and the electoral umpire is not left behind. The question is, what are the provisions of the 2022 Electoral Act for PWDs, meaning persons living with disability? This is what we're about to unravel. Ola Jide, what did you find out? Yeah, yeah, thank you very much, Aisha. Section 54, subsection 1 and 2 of the Electoral Act 2022 specifically provides that INEC shall take reasonable steps to ensure that persons with disabilities, special needs and vulnerable persons are assisted at polling units with suitable means of communication, such as Braille, large and post prints, electronic devices, sign language, interpretation or off-site voting in appropriate cases. Now, Dan Babatum is the head of unit CSO and PWD's INEC FCT. The commission has already taken into consideration those um, issues that were raised in the 2019 general election. If you notice the 2022 area council elections FCT, there were improvement and right now we're already uh, uh, we have our aggregated data that we're going to use to highlight those polling units that those special needs are. So, and adequately, we're going to deploy our Braille ballot guides according to those uh, aggregated data that we have and we'll uh, deploy it to the necessary polling units. Now you've heard the level of preparedness on the part of the electoral umpire for persons with disabilities in the February and March elections. Now, Grace, what do you have from your own end? Thank you, Olajide. There is ability in disability, according to a popular saying, including fundamental human rights. This also captures the right to vote. Uh, section 54, subsection 1 and 2, which speaks specifically to uh, inclusive election. Um, that singular repeal and replacement of that clause have enhanced the participation of persons with disability in the electoral process. Thirdly, we have heard that the 2022 Electoral Act will enhance inclusion and this means a lot for persons living with disabilities. Do you agree with me on this? Yes, Grace. Interestingly, 16% of over 90 million registered voters are persons living with disabilities. And you know, as a ray of hope beckons now, what are the expectations in the forthcoming elections? Sometimes you may even feel like not voting before, but at least, and I believe the Electoral Act, the 2022 Electoral Act will help because there's a provision for us. In fact, there are some of our people that are even involved there of which it will help us to have easy access to voting. <laughs> She said that they should make it possible for all the disability, not only deaf, so that their own line, their own space should be special. Somebody should be there to attend to them. That will make it possible for them to vote uh, friendly. Now, for the plight of the lives of Godia to be alleviated, practicability of the provisions of Section 54, subsection 1 and 2, is a renewed hope to ensuring persons with disabilities are not disenfranchised in the February and March 2023 elections. As you can see, they are optimistic. In Abuja, Tessie Omeri, NTA News.